Hey everyone, Al here, and I thought that I would show you today one of my AFKing farms and what some of the things that I do on there to make AFKing as efficient as possible and get lots of resources just by AFKing in one area. So let's go and fly to the creeper farm. This way. So here is one of the group of farms that we have because we've got the gun counter shop. And some of the things that I like to do at AFK farms is have other things there as well so that you're not wasting your time just getting um, paper stuff. So I like to add other things to my AFK area as well just to make the most use of your time. So the things that I've got on this particular farm is I've got a cactus farm. We do have a bit in here. And I've got wheat here that I've been growing. So I will, before I AFK, I will pick all the wheat and then replant it. So while I'm AFKing, the wheat is growing back. Another thing I sometimes do is I'll have tree areas or warp stem and trees so I can be chopping wood while AFKing for mobs. So that farm will be running while I'm AFKing and chopping heaps of wood. So not only am I getting a shopper full of wood, I'm also getting gunpowder and all the other things that I need. I had a um, squid and fish farm on the last server and on the top of that I had melons and pumpkins, lava, blueberries, so all the things that take a while to grow um, that I had up there. So that's just some ideas that you can use to make your AFK areas really efficient. So then when I just stand here, my AFK away, I'll put all of these into the composter, so I'll have bone meal. So that will be running while I'm in there. And I'll have the trident killer on. This is bedrock, of course, but same thing with Java. If you've got AFK farms in Java, do the same sort of thing, have non-mechanical slow growing um, items next to where you AFK and you will find you will save yourself so much time and on my looting three um you'll save yourself so much time and you'll get twice as much materials for your AFK session it's just very time efficient so I hope that was some help to some of you guys and if you already do that, pop it in the comments on some of the things that you plant or have at your AFK farms and areas. That's the end of today's episode. It was a quick one because I have been busy editing. I've edited two shorts and the next episode of Juro Live, so episode two, and that will be released in a few hours. So be sure to check it out if you like to our life because Lottie and I, we, we had a bit, we had a bit of drama. There was a bit of drama happening. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys all tomorrow when we talk about something to do with Minecraft every day. All right, bye.